Hey guys, this is Karan Birani from Mobi Scrub and I'm back with the top 10 apps for Android for the last month of this year. Hope you guys have been enjoying my top apps. Do leave me a thumbs up if you did. Now, the first app that I want to talk about is Lock It Lock Screen. Uh there's just plenty number of times you just keep pressing your power and lock key to see what's up, what's happening, is there any message for you? And if not, well, sometimes you may, but what if you don't? Uh this is where Lock It Lock Screen comes into picture. It's basically a intelligent lock screen that places top stories of the day bases your interests and learns your interest further the more you use it now all you got to really do is install the app so it's called lock it lock screen so you can go to the play store it's free uh just install that and then go into settings and ensure that your lock screen is enabled next edit your interests what interests you tech news um games tv and movies just you know you can uh, check your interests so for example i'm going to go with food and sports and my stories are populated uh, automatically now i have the option to read it right there on the lock screen or i could share it via different apps i could add it add to see it later open the camera directly or lock uh, unlock the screen now let's say i want to share it so of course i have a bunch of things that i can share it through The next app I want to talk about is basically a note-taking app, uh but it's different from the usual Google Keep uh or the you know Post-it Memo apps or MindFlux or even Evernote uh that gives you the freedom to really create different type of notes. Um Collateral uh lets you create two different type of notes. First is uh, a note and the second is list. It's got a beautiful material design. Um you know you can see the icons and the colors that are used. Uh you can use a note or a list. Now the brilliance really is let's say you want to call uh, someone you get first of all a lot of icons that you can attach uh, to every note that you do you can even bind an action so let's say you want to call someone and you can actually allot a number uh, to that you can add a picture or even set a reminder at a particular hour that you want it to be reminded of tap the arrow sorry the accept key and it just appears on your notification panel now that's the brilliance because There is just so many times you actually keep uh you know swiping your notification panel down. And you could also create your shopping list, you can add items and then that's it. You know, it just appears on your notification screen, uh, notification panel. And as I said, you can add reminders as well. The next app I want to talk about is called Zidan Free. Uh it's it's a free app. Uh basically it's a bunch of beautiful material design wallpapers that you can install on your phone um the best thing is that okay first of all it's customizable so you have a dark theme as well as a light theme it does not store any wallpaper on your phone it's all cloud based so when you tap on a wallpaper it pulls it from the cloud and it does not even store it on your phone and you can just you know uh say let's say you want to uh tap one and then there you go grab it from the cloud you can save apply or go back uh the bunch of these available and there are even some categories that you can go through uh you know so let's uh let's try mm, polygons that's something uh, that interests me a lot um so you know i mean i just like uh the the category in general anyway so a lot of free uh wallpapers there the next one is a beautiful uh, again materialized uh, file manager system i have already talked about cabinet beta and this is just one of them uh it's just a new app out in the play store you can create a new file a new folder or add a bookmark so let's say uh there's a folder that you go to frequently uh on you can just bookmark it so you know you can you and it appears on the drop down there's a grid view so if you really you know uh if you want to see a little bit more information about the folder you can go to grid view as well or of course i prefer the list view now as you see the colors kind of changed So that means it's customizable. So go into settings and you've got bunch of themes that you can use, light themes, dark themes, uh daytime themes and you can even randomize the skin. That means every time you close the app and open it again, you have a new color scheme in front of you. How brilliant is that? Um you can of course uh you know do the copy paste and cut paste kind of things. You can even select a few folders and compress them as a zip format and send it across through email. So that's brilliant too. The next app I want to talk about is called the cleaner. Now your phone, especially with Android phones, they get slower and slower with more and more usage. That's because, you know, you're looking on at, at Facebook, Instagram, reading articles, and all those apps are downloading a lot of content and keeping on your phone. You don't even know about it. 
So for example, you want to free your RAM. Well, your, the cleaner uh, does the analysis and says, well, you've got a GB uh, of RAM that can be freed. And these are the apps that are kind of hogging it. Well, you could just go and uh, tap on clean and it frees that one GB of RAM that was being hogged. Um, as simple as that. Of course, there's some, uh, there's some ad, but of course you could always uh, up, upgrade to premium version. Same goes for storage. It tells you there's 250 MB of data that's been used by you know, various apps like my gallery or my, um, my maps app. It just cleans it up. Even for apps, it kind of tells me that which app, um, you know, basis how much you use it, basis the, 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 the permissions it seeks. You can always kind of, you know, select apps that you don't want and uninstall them right from here. So let's say I installed a few new apps. Uh, there was Ninjam Dash, there was QR Code Reader, uh, and I think uh, Photoshop Express. I don't need these apps, right? So it just told me that, hey, Karan, you just, you know, uh, downloaded all of these. Do you really need them? Well, no, uninstall. There you go. Clear some space out. So, and even for conversations, it basically tells you that you've logged in a lot of information. Um, you can clear all of that through the cleaner. The next app I want to talk about is called Google Messenger. So it's made by Google. It's developed by Google. Um, it's got material design. Obviously, uh, Google has ported all its apps to material design. So it's got this really nice, fresh look. Every uh, person that you talk to or the conversation that you have has its own specific color. So it makes, you know, it's a delightful experience for the consumer. Um, you've got a bunch of uh, emoticons or emojis. There's just so many of them that you can use. You can never grow tired of that. Um, so just plenty of them. Um, I'm not even going to you know, take you through all of them. Apart from that, you can even attach uh, you know, something from your camera, from your um, image gallery. So there you go. Uh, from your image gallery or a voice note can be attached and sent. So again, it's really just a very simple, good looking app. Uh, you could uh, mute notifications for someone and you can even archive your messages and go back to them later. The next app is Google Fit. Uh, the best thing is it tracks your walking, running and biking activities on its own automatically. All you got to do is keep your location uh, reporting on. You could keep it in power saving mode. It records the number of steps you've taken for how long you walk, run or bike. Of course, you get all you know infographics. You've got all your charts there. Uh, the other thing is you can uh, add activities. So in case you know it did not track something, you can always add it later. So it's never wrong. You can even set a goal for yourself. So, you know, if you really want to motivate yourself, am I meeting my goals every day or not? You've got it right here. Of course, there are other apps like Endo, Mondo and um, Nike Running and well, God knows so many of them. Uh, but this is just a simple app. Uh, and you can, of course, you can, you know, connect it to all of these other apps like Nike Running has also integrated its services with Google Fit. The next app is called Unified Remote. And what it really does is it pretty much gives you access to your uh, desktop or to your laptop, which is of course in the same uh, Wi-Fi zone. And you can connect your phone uh, and make it a remote for pretty much anything you do on your laptop or desktop. So you could be sitting on your bed and your laptop or TV or your computer on, on the desk and you could be controlling it from a distance. It's all through Wi-Fi and there's a remote for everything that you want to do on your PC. So there's a remote for... Uh, you know, for Winamp, for VLC, for the media player, for the monitor, uh, right? So if you want to switch off your monitor, just turn it off and turn it on. You can do all of that. Um, you know, you've got PowerPoint slide controls, um, which is great. Uh, you could uh, control Spotify. So if you've got Spotify installed, you can control that. Internet Explorer, Chrome, um, VLC, Winamp, Windows 8. It's got a special remote for Windows 8 uh, activities. So Unified Remote basically is your one-stop shop for all remote control controls that you can possibly think of. And it's all through Wi-Fi. It's free. Um, well, some of the features are free, of course. Uh, you've got a built-in mouse pad as well. So you can pretty much, you know, hover your finger on the phone and you're going to see the, the mouse pointer on the monitor of your computer uh, go in tandem. And it's almost lag-free. It's, it's all through Wi-Fi. There is just no lag at all. So it's really nice. Um, I really use it a lot because I like controlling things. Um, so let's say I'm watching a, t um, watching a movie and I'm done, right? So I want to switch off my computer or I want to turn off the monitor or I want to lower the volume down or I want to change the track or I want to go into the next movie. Um, I can do all of that sitting right, you know, let's say on my bed, whereas my desktop, the big laptop or the big computer is on the desk. 
and you've got uh, your dark theme as well. So you can customize the look of your, uh, you know, the app. So of course, a lot of things that you're watching uh, remotely, uh, you probably have your lights shut off and you don't want the white light hitting your eye too much. So you can go ahead and change your theme to the dark one. So I bought the app. I totally found it useful. The ninth app on the list is called MobiZen. And what it allows you to do is control your phone, uh, full control of your phone on your desktop, on your computer, on your laptop. So all you gotta do is have MobiZen installed on your Android smartphone. And then you can go to mobizen.com. So this is my computer screen. Uh, select the phone that you synced. So basically when you install uh, MobiZen on your, on your Android smartphone, it asks you to log in with an email address. And that's what you fit in here with the password that you selected. Uh, once they're connected, your phone screen gets replicated onto your desktop. So, you know, it could be the browser uh, or there's also a software that you can install, but well, the browser works well enough, right? And once you've got that, imagine how simple now your life is going to be uh, because let's say you WhatsApp a lot or you text a lot. <laughs> you, can, you can just use your computer keyboard uh, to start chatting with people. Um, you don't even have to pick up your phone, right? You can, you can pretty much control your, uh, the hard keys, like the, the volume up and down, the power and lock key. All of that can be controlled using the web, uh, the web uh, controls here. So you can just forget about your phone on the side, even file transfers, uh, playing music, uh, watching videos, and you can even record the screen. So you can record your phone's screen on, um, you know, using MobiZen, and it stores all of those videos here in the video file. The last app I want to talk about is. Uh, Greenify. Now, what Greenify does is basically some apps are always hogging resources off your phone and reducing battery life. Greenify helps you put those apps into hibernation and only call them when, when required. So some apps like AirDroid, uh, and you know, a lot of these apps keep consuming battery. Greenify is going to put them to hibernation and help you save battery. So it's totally worth a try. Uh, I really like it. So those were the top 10 apps for the month of December in 2014. Thank you for watching, guys. Do leave me uh, a thumbs up if you really like the video. And let me know in the comments below which apps did you end up installing on your Android smartphone. Thank you.